Hi, I'm Shi Chun from Cambridge Coding Academy and I'm going to show you how to get set up for the Introduction to Machine Learning workshop. So the first thing you need to do is download and install all the libraries, including Python. Um, and what you, the easiest way to do this is to use something called Anaconda, which basically bundles everything together and installs it all for you. Um, so go to this URL um, and pick the version. One thing that's very important is to pick the version that says Python 2.7. Uh, simply click on the installer and you'll be guided through the setup. It's very straightforward. Um, the next thing you need to do, if you don't have it already, is to install Git. Um, now Git's basically software that you have um, to interact with something called GitHub, which uh, many of you may already use. Um, GitHub is an online repository um, where you can keep your code and also track its changes. Um, so if you go to the Git URL, and again you download here and follow through on the setup instructions. And then if you don't have it already, um, sign up uh, for a GitHub account. Um, again, it's very straightforward to sign up. Uh, once you've signed up, you can sign in, uh, which I'm now going to do. Oops. So now I'm into my, my repository. Um, now, what we're going to do is get the actual code from the Cambridge Coding um, GitHub repository, which is public. So if you go to this URL, um, Cambridge Coding and then slash machine learning intro, do that now. And then what you need to do is copy the code here into your repository um, using the fork command. So um, you can see at the moment, before um, this is the name of the repository, it's in Cambridge Coding's account. Um, what you're now going to do is fork it into your account. So given that I'm signed in, I'm going to click on fork. Um, it may not allow me to do this because I've already done it, but the principle is the same. And then I'm going to tell it to fork it into this account, which is my Chichun Chen account. Um, and now you see it now belongs here. So it's now actually copied into my account. Um, as you can see, this is still um, a remote copy though. So this is stored remotely. So the next step you need to do is to get all these files onto your local machine. And the way you do this is um, there's on Windows, there's probably some software that you can use uh, where you just click on this and then a nice GUI opens up. Um, the alternative is to use um, git bash, um, as I've done here. So if I just show you. On git bash, what you can do is um, clone things from repositories um, using commands. So using a command um, git clone which effectively does the same as the GUI, you can um, clone the repository. So if I just do that now, um, find the directory you need first, by the way. So for example, I'll store it in um, machine learning, or in my Dropbox, my CCA folder. So that's now um, in this folder, in this directory and I'll clone it into this directory. So I'm just going to use this command git clone and then the URL. So in this case um, it's Chichun Chen because I'm cloning from my repository and not from the Cambridge coding one. So. so now you can see it's, it's now copying all the files into my local machine. So once you've done that now, um, the final thing to do is to just check that everything works. So what you do is um, you launch IPython Notebook, which you should now have, having downloaded and installed Anaconda. Um, it's usually stored in a directory for Anaconda, so here. Um, and the one you need is the IPython um, Notebook launch. So if you launch that up, you get your directory structure and you need to find where you've stored the notebooks. So I remember mine was in Dropbox and it was under CCA I believe. Um, 
and the file is called machine learning intro so I'll just find that um, there we go found it so now in this directory you can see there's a um, ml notebook dot ipy dot um, ipy mb what you need to do is open that up And then simply run the first Python cell. So I'm clicking to here. And then all I need to do is press play. And then if no error has been thrown up, it means that everything's okay. So once you've done that, you're good to go. Um, see you at the workshop.